My brothers and my sisters, a common mistake that we see when it comes to washing the foot in wudu is a person he goes to the tap and just starts wobbling his foot under, you see, and he might not necessarily always wash every part. That which is mostly left off is the heels or the Achilles area. You can see the difference between the that which is washed and that which isn't washed. It was authentically reported uh, by Anas al Malik and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ra'a rajulan wa fi qadami mithru kufri lam yusibu al Messenger saw a companion who made wudu. He looked at his foot and there was an area on the foot that was the size of a nail that wasn't washed. The size of a nail, my brothers and sisters. Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him, Irji' Fa'asin Wudu, go back and perfect your wudu. You see? So how about the person like ends up leaving the size of a finger or even more than that? You see? So my brothers and sisters, they could, this could actually lead to your salah being invalid if a person makes wudu like that and also that which is normally left off or you know um, we find this a common mistake is that a person doesn't wash the inside of his nails mm -hmm. oh, sorry the toes in between his toes if it means that you have to pass your fingers in between your toes then that becomes a must as well if that's the only way the water is going to reach between your toes because there's a principle in Surah Al-Fiqh that you guys will learn insha'Allah ta'ala إِذَا كَانَ الْوَاجِبُ لَا يَتِمُ إِلَّا بِي فَوَاجِبُ If you can't fulfill a wajib, a mandatory act, except through something, then that becomes mandatory as well. You see, so insha'Allah ta'ala, my brothers and sisters, make sure you do it properly just so our wudu and also our salah can be correct and in accordance to how the Messenger of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is wudu. Barakallahu feek, let the sunnah go. لا يزال الخير حيا لا يزال إن في الدنيا سلاما واضلال أخبر الأيام أنها في وصال قم بنا وانظر